Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Sorectum. And last time, oh, it was utterly glorious, wasn't it, guys? We took, we managed to build in every single of our 194 settlements for the very first time. And for someone like me, who is a massive campaign management nerd, that was quite an achievement, to be honest. I'm very, very happy that we have managed to do it. Um, now, in terms of the Ptolemies, we didn't kill them with this blow down here. And we're not actually going to use this army to kill them. I have found where they are. Now, I have used Toggle Fog of War to do that, guys. Just full disclaimer for you. Otherwise, we would just never find them. <laughs> and I think it's fair enough in this situation. I didn't look at anything else just where the just down here where the Ptolemies are. And they are in this block here somewhere. Um, I think there's a road going from here that we didn't send our spy down the coast there. Uh, or a ship close enough to the coast to actually see it. So they are there. So we will have to send a bit of an army from around here to go and fight them. But looking at the map. Armenia is at war with us. I have very, very, very uh, much think that they will have more settlements. Luckily, we took map information from Armenia. So we actually know where they are. But the Serakis are down here, which is kind of scary. Don't really want to be fighting another horse archer faction anytime soon. And uh, although it says we're at war with them, uh, we're not actually at war with the Serakis. So we might send a diplomat up there to try and get some sort of alliance going. In terms of, uh, you know, the uh, Bactrians, we are nearly destroying them. I think we are, though, I think we have moved everywhere we want to. This is actually a bit upgraded settlement now. Minor city. Nice. Good. Large city. That is 100% something uh, that uh, is fantastic for us. Because we can actually start recruiting very quickly in one of those places. So, yeah. We are going to continue. Unfortunately, we can't actually besiege this down yet. It takes about, yeah, it doesn't take, it takes a while to get those, uh, those ones done. I believe, though, everything else is done. We've moved everywhere else, haven't we? So let's press that end turn, and I fully expect this Spartan army to come and have a go if they think that they are indeed hard enough. But, uh, <laughs> we shall see what they end up doing. Um, well, Pontus, was that Pontus, or was that Parthia? Okay, Pontus has gone straight in for the kill here. It is their capital. So I am kind of... I was expecting them to, to come and fight this. And in fact, I was hoping that they would come and fight this rather than us have to do a siege battle. So who actually attacked us? with the outside army? I believe it was the outside army. So, yeah, Mithridates. They've got their faction leader. So we're going to kill another Pontic king. Uh, <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to regicide them, but luckily their faction air isn't there, uh, because the rebels will get more men in each settlement than the Pontics can have right now. But let's get into the battle, guys. We have Andragoras the handsome. For some reason, Andragoras doesn't have great command, but he was under his father for a long time, not getting any command traits. But he is a glorious commander. And by the way, guys, if you are enjoying this series. Please do give it a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel out and help get these videos out to more people. Uh, and I think it's been a decent campaign. I have enjoyed it very much. So let's get onto the battlefield, guys. Let's smash the Pontics once again. Here we are on the sandy, arid. Oh, yeah, very sandy and arid sort of map. Quite nice, I like it. And we do have a nice defensible position. So let's get that in there. Locked and loaded with the Phalangites. Let's get them just below the tip of the hill. Let's get a high pass. This can go either side. We'll get these boys on one side to flank with their jabbies. And actually, we'll get the high pass this and the, these boys on the other side ready to go. And then, cavalry-wise, we'll do what we want with it when uh, when it comes out. And Dragoras, we need to get you some more command, my my uh, good friend. So, yeah, and we'll get our, all our archers up here. That's a really good little spot for our archers. One of the best spots we've had 
for them. Let's get them slightly further down so they don't need to fire so far up. Very good. Nice. Let's get into the battle. So they are coming from the left. That's not a bad sign, to be honest. Uh, we can kink the line like that. Um, it looks like this army is going very far to the right. They really don't like going at Phalangites, which makes sense, to be fair, because Phalangites are, of course, very good <laughs> on the defensive. They don't really like going after Phalangites at all. So let's get you back round. I don't know why they would do this so much. Like, do such a... Uh, make such a job of it, to be honest. But that's fine. Now they're going to go for the attack all the way around. Honestly, let's just slow down a second. Go slow. See, these guys have already come in. So what I think we should do is not worry about that flank at all and just run here. Get our high pastus and everything up on the hill. And we'll use these boys against this army to start with. Although, let's split them up. Let's get... Let's get these two units over this side. These guys ready to fire? Are you firing? Have you fired? Ah, oh, God. It never saves. It never saves. Uh, it never saves your settings sometimes. Well, let's get you forward. It has kind of split our lines, which is fine. What is this, though? Just mercenary agent cavalry and Cappadocian cavalry. But let's try and force them into actually engaging us. We've also got Asian Royal Bodyguards there. Well, I think... Time to go for him. Let's have a go. Come on, have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate. Oh, we're on slow-mo. That's why it was going so slow. I was wondering why they were moving so slow. <laughs> uh, but the Hillmen... They've got the Galatian Swordsmen as well, which are a good unit. They're going to... Uh, let's uh, try and micro that. We didn't micro it too well, to be honest. That's fine. Oh, we've absolutely shredded them, to be honest. Yeah, they're good. Why do I keep saying, to be honest? I don't know. I get things in my head, guys, that are like sayings, phrases, and then I'll say them forever, like glorious. That's one of the generals instantly murked. Let's kill them. And uh, that's their king, deaded. Nice. Get the high pass this around. Uh, let's make sure you guys should be all be firing at, like, skirmish cav. Get the general and everything. Let's get you out. Let's get you over here. Let's go uh, attack these Calician pirates or Silesian pirates. Uh, you guys get in the fight. You guys get in that fight. Now let's go kill them. They're broken already. Nice. Oh, we've not got banners as well. Always. Never saves that saves your settings. I, I don't know why. No, we want the banners locked, please. There we are. Good. There goes the second general. So we're chasing them down for now. Got these guys are in a bit of trouble, so we do want to come and try and help them out. Uh, you guys get there. This is the problem with Phalangites. Like, no one wants to actually take them on. Um, but that's fine. Right, let's come forward. Let's see whether we can get you into the fight. Agira Speedes. You guys can come down here to fight. Right, Cav. Let's get you round against the mercenary hoplites. Like I say, we've got to be wary. Let's start moving down the hill. High pass this. Let's get you in the fight. So I think with the phalangites, a lot of the time, you kind of have to uh, try and... The mercenary hoplites should want to go, surely. But we'll get out then, if they don't want to. That's the next general dead. Oh, that's going to make them all break. Go, go, go. Go back. Go back. Especially with the cataphracts. Should break them. Nice. Now they are literally running for the hills. The hillmen are running for the hills. Right. This whole infantry. Uh, guys, let's get you on that and off. Bring you round. Yeah, I think we're fine here. We're holding them pretty nicely, to be honest. Good. Oh, I said it again. No. <laughs> We're holding them very nicely. Uh, you don't need to charge them anymore. You can come out this way. Uh, let's get one of you guys up there. You guys go in there. High pass this, though. Let's get you round to fight. 
And let's get these boys. If you can fire at them. In fact, all the archers, if you could fire at them, that would be ideal. Oh, they've all they've all gone. They, they're all they're all deciding to run. Still got 30% of their troops, though. A lot in there, isn't there? There is a lot in there. So let's keep going. In fact, what we should do is get our archers to charge them down. Because the archers are some of the quickest units. Because they have literally no armor. So they will actually be faster at charging them down than, than even maybe the cataphracts. So, yeah. We need someone over there. We need you guys to get up there. I don't think we need to worry about that unit. Uh, you guys haven't even taken any damage. You didn't even, didn't even join the fight. Ah, well. Yeah, see, look how fast the archers are at chasing them down. Incredibly fast. Oh, here comes another one. Don't care about that unit at all. How many have they got now? Surely it's a lot less, yeah. But we need to kill all of them to get into the city, don't we? So let's just try and kill as many as we can while we can. So, yeah, there we are. Let's continue. Nice. Uh, anyone else that we need to worry about? Don't think so. Don't think so. Good, 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 good. Oh, there is. There's these guys. <laughs> are they going to get off scot-free? Maybe. Oh, the archers are firing at them. Go, go, go. Ah, there we are. Nice shots, boys. Nice shots. In fact, probably took out one of the cataphracts <laughs> right at the end with a bit of friendly fire. But oh well. Nice one, guys. We've got a bit of a... The Chalka Speed has got a bit more. Theropoi doing actually really well. 139. Zistafori, 146. Good. Well, a decent victory. Let's see. Will they... They will definitely be dead. Yeah, they'll both be dead. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. That's like that's how we like to start the episode. Let's get ready for a Spartan battle. <laughs> Here we are. And the new capital is ours. And it's actually happy. Well, that's a change. Um... Well, thank you for that, Armenia. I mean, you're just dancing around trying to siege cities. <laughs> oh, has Sparta's gone for that? Oh, they got two fat armies. <laughs> oh, well, Diodotus. Oh, my. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sparta, are you okay? We knew they were general stacking quite a bit. <laughs> but that, that, <laughs> that, that's something else. <laughs> It's probably because they've only got, like, three settlements, and they've got nothing to do with them. They're all quite good generals as well. Oh, they're all infantry generals! I forgot! Well, this is going to be interesting, because they're very good infantry generals. They're very, very good. They're, they're similar in stats to our Agira Speeders. But judging by 122, they're, they're probably... Those six generals probably equal three or four of the Agira Speeders. So that's okay. They have no cavalry because it's Sparta. And we have cataphracts, elephants, and those, and Diodotus. Let's just try not to get Diodotus killed, guys. I think that's going to be the main thing. They do have seven command from Machaon. Notoriously, though, you know, these generals are harder to kill, I would say. Than the cavalry generals. The cavalry generals tend to die a little easier. A little bit more exposed. Bigger hitboxes. Um, so breaking this infantry force. Might be a little bit of a difficulty. But this Cryptera shit anyway. So that's fine. But the rest of them are actually decent. Especially the uh, Homoioi. Very good. Uh, and the Perioikoi Hoplites. But Diodotus my friend. Your first battle. How do you feel... Time to go. Right then, this is going to be fun. And at the last, there is something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone in what I must now say. Come on. We will win. Many of us may die. Yes. <laughs> all of us will be brave. Okay, Diodotus, I give your first ever speech. Uh, about a, a 6 out of 10, I've got to say. And it's, it is dark, so I am sorry about that, guys. They chose, the enemy chose a night battle. Probably for, 
probably because Diodote is either slightly worse in a night battle or that uh, their commander is actually better in a night battle. Right. We unfortunately are crushed against the sea. So this is pretty much a landing battle. Um, Agira Speeders. I will show you the units in the glory of the darkness as well. Because I don't think... I mean, you've seen the Agira Speeders and stuff. But let's just show you them anyway. The Neo Cretan Archers. I don't think we have seen those boys before. Uh, now, what do we do with these? This is the question. Cataphracts on one side. So, uh, chariots and elephants on the other. Diodotus in the middle for now. We'll probably use you in the fight. Let's have a look at our boys. We've got our Neo Cretan archers here. As you can see, much more heavily armored than the standard Greek archers. And they are very good. 25 defense, 14 missile attack, guys. And they do have a lot longer range, 160. Of course, we've seen those boys before. The Agira Speeders as well. Very nice units. Really good. And look at that. 20 morale, 15 melee attack, 18 missile attack. And this is without any experience. 47 defense. I think that is pretty similar to the Spartan infantry general that they have. We've also got our scythe chariots over here. And don't they look mean? Don't they look scary? So, yes. We're not going to use them. To start with, we're going to use them for morale shock at the end. I don't know why they've set up so unbelievably far away. In fact, we should probably get our neo Cretans out in front. We have no worry about cavalry, do we? I don't believe so. Here they come. The Spartan army in the darkness meeting us as we get off the boats, pretty much. So, yeah. Here is their just mass of generals. <laughs> this is their main general here. Makayon. I don't... I think he's their faction leader. Just look how many generals they do have. We're going to have the same problem probably that they won't go for the Phalangites. But, yeah. We shall see. We'll just have to maneuver around them. Alright, let's uh, let's get a bit more skirmish tactics. They do have... Oh. Nope. They do have the old Helot Javelin men. And we, we are going to take some pot shots at those boys because no need not to. Might as well uh, stop the Javis attacking our cataphracts or anything like that. So I don't know what they're trying to do because now they're all shifting to the right. I mean, it's pointless, bro. I mean, if you shift to the right, I can, like, if you're going to shift to the right, I am going to use the side of the map as my protector. Although, the side of the map uh, is actually... Get you actually running. So I think we'll go like here. And then these two are Gira Speeders. So that's the side of the map there. So they're not going to be able to do anything if they do this. But it's their choice. If they want me to hug box, I am going to oblige. 100%. Diodotus can stay there. We'll make sure we get our cataphracts and elephants behind. But we are literally on the shore. And you can see our ships out there watching on in anticipation to make sure that uh, their new king or potential king will actually be uh, surviving this. Oh, we've got our Neo Cretans now to go. Let's get back before the Helots uh, start getting into us. But here they come. They are coming for the fight now. Good. Good on them. That's what they should be doing. Make sure you guys are all on that. You are. All right, speed this up. Let's see what they want to do. Let's make sure our ja uh, the, their Javis are not in reach of our Ellies, of course. Let's get the, their over there ready to get around. If we are going to protect that flank, we probably want our Cataphracts over this side too. We've got a pretty hefty left flank, haven't we? So if we can hold the right flank... I don't think we're going to have a problem here today. Diodotus, I want you in the middle leading men for once. I don't want to charge you because I don't want to kill you. <laughs> Early game. That would be terrible. Uh, but here they come. They're going for the charge. Are all you guys on fire at will? Let's get you on fire at will. But here they go. The Skiratai going in for the kill. Agira Speeders. Brace, men. Brace. That's right in the face. Good. That's what we like to see. 
Nice. Good, 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 good. And we're holding all the way down the line. As soon as they've engaged, what have they got up here? They've got Homoyoi. So we don't want to get our, you know, play our Uno, Uno win card. <laughs> Not our Uno reverse card, our Uno win card today. Uh, for too early. So let's get our... Let's get these boys on the move. The Agira Speeders, they're going to take a bit of damage. But look how much they hate to go into Phalangites, guys. Like, they're just focusing right on the flanks. Like, they're doing... Like, literally doing nothing else. That's all they do. They're not going anywhere near the middle. Let's get you round, then. If they're going to oblige... We will oblige them with a bit of a tasty fight, then. If they want to do that. Right, then, boys. Get you up here. Time to wreak some havoc. Time to wreak some havoc. Right, well, if you're going to... Let's get into the crypt here. So here they come. This is the moment, boys. They're getting absolutely shredded as well. Right, now get into that. And halt. So we're going to get it a little bit surrounded there, which isn't great. Um, let's leave those boys out for now. Let's go straight in the back of there. Let's get these boys into the Helot Javelin men. They should be able to wreak some absolute havoc here. This unit, we've absolutely screwed it, to be fair. What's this unit doing? Okay. Um, put your pikes down, men. That would be better. Kind of squishing them. The Agira Speeders are holding out very well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's brutal. Honestly, that's brutal. I don't know why the uh, the chariots have decided to, to do that, but okay. That's fine. Problem with the chariots is once they're engaged, they don't really do much else. <laughs> they can't really get out too well. So now you guys need to get into them. Let's get the cataphracts back around. Oh, they see, they, they'll charge without orders as well, as you can see. And uh, we should be very, like, scaring these guys a lot. There we are. These guys, come on. They've got a break. They've got a break soon. Uh, we've already broken like a load of them. Uh, you guys, get you over there. Lo lost a lot of Agira Speeders. It's mainly because, you know, if the Agira Speeders, if they wanted to come and fight face to face, we'd absolutely shred them. Right, chariots, time to get you round. Let's also have a bit of fun with the elephants then. Maybe we can get a charge with Diodotus in as well, just for a bit of ants. Um, but yeah, nice. Broken everyone, pretty much. Let's go into the back of that crypt here. Shouldn't be a problem. And uh, these reformed swordsmen, you guys can just have a bit of fun. Diodotus, then, my friend. Oh, they just charge like a crazy person. Let's go get the get the spears down, boys. Get the spears down. There we are. That's better. Now we should be able to have a bit of fun over this side. Cataphracts, let's keep coming. Where are the chariots? Go, 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 go. Elephants as well. What we're going to do? We're going to have a bit of fun with the Ellies. Let's get up there, boys. You guys get over here. Let's see what what, what happens when uh, chariots and elephants go to go and have a good time. Let's go. You guys charge. You guys charge. Let's go. <laughs> yes, boys. Here we come. The elephants and the chariots together as one. Yes, there, there they go. That's what we like to see. Absolutely shredding the boys. <laughs> nice. Now, where are the cataphracts and diadotus? Let's get into the back of the general's bodyguard. Let's get the Agira speeders here. I don't want them to uh, escape in any way. We're making them route quite easily. These are the perioikoi hoplites, though. So they are the best unit. They one of the best units they have. Well, let's get. I mean. There's just nothing that can really stand in the way of this army, is there? It's it's obscene. It's quite obscene. Perseus, the handsome, you're going to have to die, my friend. You're all going to have to die, to be honest. That's one of their generals. Kill them. Come on, Ellies. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. And the thing is, we've not really let anyone escape because we've just surrounded them and just destroyed them. Right, Cataphracts. Let's get you up here. They're withdrawing, of course. That's Hermayas. That guy's not died yet. How many have we... Oh, wait. He has... It doesn't say his name anymore, so he has died. 
Uh, what about these guys? Kalipos the Mad, he's not died. You guys get there. You guys get there as well. We did actually lose a chariot in that. But oh well. <laughs> Honestly, oh well. Where, where has that army gone? That army has... Um, like, th that army has genuinely melted. Yeah, I, I would be cheering too, bro. You literally melted an army. Right, we are going to go and pursue them anyway. Um, just because we want to kill as many of these generals as possible. Don't want to have to face them again. They get free re replenishment, remember, guys? I don't care about the crypt here. These guys, though, on the other hand. Let's get Hermayas. Don't need to kill that one, do we? Uh, let's just speed it up. Should be able to kill Hermayas pretty easily. That's it. Go after that one, then. Don't know whether we'll get to uh, Kalipos the Mad. I mean, he wasn't mad enough to stay in the fight all that long. So, well done to him, to be fair. But what an army. Just, just absolutely melting. Melting the enemy. Let's kill them. Nice. And it's, it's quite a scary thing how good that army was. Honestly, we next time we do an army, let's not get the Agira Speeders. There's no point. The enemy doesn't go for them anyway. Like, we might as well just get full of Agira Speeders um, reform swordsmen. And just have a heavy infantry army rather than a phalangite one. And also, I like playing with heavy infantry more than I do phalangite. Um... Uh, I think the scythe chariots take the MVP there. I'm <laughs> I've got to say, um, 477 kills. Uh, no one else even comes close. The Agira Speeders did well, but nice. Anyway, we just melted the Spartans there. Let's get back on the campaign map. Here we are. And if I was Sparta, I wouldn't have come to fight. <laughs> Our other army there, after such a crushing and brutal defeat. Oh, Cappadocia. Have mercy. They want us. They want to become a protector. I'm not giving you Mazaka. That's too rich of a settlement. Theodotus the Handsome. Yeah, I'm glad you're a... Uh, uh, you're not a commander, bro. <laughs> Lily-livered. He's a poor trader, though, which isn't great for a... Uh, uh, for a governor. But anyway, yeah, I'm definitely... If I was Sparta... Uh, I'll say ceasefire. Is limited. Let's give him. Uh, you. Well, we can't actually request that. You trade that. Surely you just. Nope. You just. You just asked to become a protector, bro. But anyway. <laughs> we do not jest. We never jest around here, my friend. It's very serious. We're very serious people. When we have a very serious mission. Pass Guardia. Are you just going to pass Guardia for this guy because he's 63? Probably. That's fine. Uh, hopefully, Diodotus has got some good. Uh, oh, we got. Uh, oh, a spy. That spy. That's that's fine. Stakra has now upgraded. Good. That gives us more options for keeping them happy. Uh, yeah. Uh, that army routed as well, and so did Diodotus. Hopefully, he's got more command now. Uh, Abstemious. Yeah, he doesn't even like any alcohol now. He's completely different from Antiochus the Angry. Uh, sharp, confident commander. Night fighter. This man can lead night battles. And a victor in Europe. This man has won a great victory in Europe. Minus one to personal security, but hopefully we don't see too many assassins going around. I would love to, like, fight you. So let's get to there and let's see whether it's possible. Those walls don't look too kind, so I prefer to fight them on the battlefield with our absolutely ruthless army. And like I said, going forward, let's not get the Agira Speeders pikemen. Let's just get the Agira Speeders reform swordsmen. They are absolutely beastly. Oh, we can actually do our construction from here now as well, which is fantastic. Uh, this army's slightly not as good, but it, it's still a very good army and. It killed 60. Couldn't care less. Doesn't even matter. So let's take Githion. And obviously, this is going to be straight away a recruitment hub. They've got an execution square here. they got the awesome Temple of Hera. Fantastic. That's what we <laughs> would like to build here anyway. 
Um, I wonder how... Yeah. So both of these can become a recruitment hub. And we can have a very nice recruitment hub down here in the south of the Peloponnese. Uh, let's do that. And let's go straight in for that one as well. And it shouldn't be too upset. Now, problem is here, we do need some way of governing these boys. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe trying to pull a few of these boys from some of the islands around here. Because we don't need so many anymore, do we? So the ships can now leave. They have watched Diodotus vaporize a <laughs> Spartan army. What a bloodbath. Um, we've also got... We've got a couple of guys in there. Yes, we do. So let's get to there. Uh, what else have we got? Have we got anyone else spare around here? Mm, not particularly. Literally. Not particularly. So, okay, another one. Two's going to do it for now. But, yeah, we do need to be wary of that. Uh, and these guys can actually... So we're going to have, a, like, a, a little C movement option over here so you can come all the way back to Pergamon now is that army done it's all gold now nice what's that oh our two elephants we've got so let's get rid let's auto sort these boys and let's get rid of the mercenary boys uh did we want the two elephants where was the other elephant gonna go I mean we lost a lot of elephants up here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, so, to be fair, we'll take the mercenary boys. They can govern a city. You boys can go up to here. It's going to take you a while to get there, but that's fine. Uh, we're not going to be moving from here anytime too soon. So, yeah, and it's such a messy army. <laughs> anyway. We're getting all of these. Where are they? There they are. I was fuming then for a sec. Where have you gone? You uh, disgusting Akontistai. I was just checking the are Akontistai. Did it actually, don't actually use those guys. Oh my god, I can't speak. I can't speak after that absolute bloodbath. Um, don't actually use those guys in battle, do we? So, uh, yeah, never really actually use them. Now, this army, and I'm hoping this army will be strong enough... To come and take this rebel settlement and maybe take these guys on afterwards. And if it's not, we can just come back for retraining. It's not far away. But if we can at least take Bithynian, get rid of the remnants of the Galatians in this area. Megale Apollonopolis. Oh, and we also need to start recruiting a bit of an army down here. So where did we build a recruitment hub? We did here. So let's go... Like I said, it doesn't matter about cash. We've got loads in the bank. So let's get a Thorakitai, a bit of a Thorakitai army. Uh, and we need to get into that region to take out the Ptolemies. Uh, now, down right far in the south, we are building a merchant thing. It would really be nice to... Hmm. Well, let's not get that. Let's get the recruitment hub instead. Let's, I mean, that army, we can afford patience with this army. Like, these areas are not exactly amazing. So, it's not really much to worry about. There is a city there, but I believe there are a few more cities in and amongst this little region here. So, we might as well go and uh, scout them out. Uh, so, yeah. And then Antioch. Do we want to start building another army ready? I mean, we're recruiting two more cataphracts. I don't know why. Oh, yes. That is because we are recruiting, going to recruit and build a full cataphract army. <laughs> yeah. Oh, things are getting fun, aren't they, guys? <laughs> full Parthian tactics on these, uh, these guys. Um, yeah, going to be so fun when we can actually use that. So Amicia is taken. You're going into there to see if Antioch... Uh, Antiochus can start moving again. His army is is absolutely savaged, to be honest. Um, it's not exactly in the best of condition, is it? But let's see if we can leave Amisos. I don't think we've got too much resistance, though, coming our way down here. I mean, there's Pontus. We need a few more spies, don't we? We've got a spy here. 
start moving you along. We need to find all these cities because I don't want to... I don't really want to miss any. So, of course, that one's there. Where can you go now? You go through there. But I think with Ant uh, Antiochus, we'll start moving down the coast. Might not even be Pontic cities over here. Might just be rebel ones. And we'll probably just get some... Yeah, let's not get some mercenary Asian light spin and they're not... 100% not worth it. But we can build a few watchtowers now. We can afford it. Um, yeah, when that's done, we'll be able to leave uh, Kamana Pontos because that's a very unhappy settlement. How about over here, though? Is there any chance we can leave? We kind of need these guys to come up. Uh, let's see if we can leave here at Tuion. Yes, we can. Well, you go to Amicia. Look at that trade already. How much... Uh, Amicia is making 5,000 straight away. That's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? Glorious. Oh, we got another spy here. So, I think we should just have a look at all our spies for a moment. And I think we should also come through the middle here just to check there's no cities nestled in these hills. We can see this one. Um, but yeah, this 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 is tough going in these mountains. Really tough going. So, let's have a look at all our spies. We've got a lot of them. You are Oxiana. You don't need to be there anymore, do you? Let's get you round into India. Uh, Koinos. Yeah, you're just looking at that. So, again, we don't need you there. So, let's just bring you up like there. You should hopefully see a few cities on the way. Uh, Krateros. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you're just going around here. Let's have a look. Any city right there? No, doesn't look like it. Surely there's a city on this lake. Well, we'll try and find it anyway. Uh, we've got the diplomat. You're there in Gangra. What? Well, how old are you? You're only 45, so... Let's go try and talk to the Sarakis. Uh, Demetrius, you're in Cappadocia. You've moved. You're also here, and we are just, like, going around these mountains trying to find... <laughs> <laughs> Some more settlements. See, that's a settlement there. I don't think we'd seen that one before. So let's move up these valleys. Start moving up this way. Uh, we've got you are having a look for settlements around here as well. Now, there is one. Good. Well, that's good to know at least. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly going to be very valuable. But it would be nice if these had roads, because we'd be actually able to see where the other settlements were with the roads. Uh, Olganos, you're pretty much pointless at this point. Apart from, actually, you can come down and find that Ptolemaic settlement. And then we've got Carpus, Mr. Carpet, once again. You're up here in Arm... Oh, you're actually stuck in Armenia uh, in there. Oh, we've got a few more as well. You're there... So, yeah, you can actually move into India as well. We'll have two spies in India, no problem. Got lots of spies, haven't we? Could do with even more, though, really. Uh, where are you? You're... I don't even know where you are. I can't even see you on the map. Are you, in... you must be in that settlement. So, let's come down this way and check there's no settlements out the back here, like around here. Oh, well, we actually know where the Armenian settlements are, so that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, you've moved, and then a chaos, Antiochia, Migdonia again, we can't move you. And then you, oh, you're actually at the Bosporan, so let's go talk to the Sarakis. Our other, we've got another guy at Adramition. You need to come across to Greece and start talking to some of the enemies of the Antigonids, like the Thracians. Let's see if we can get a ceasefire and an alliance with the Thracians, I think that'll be best. Cakes, let's get you... Like, yeah, into the middle of Greece as well to try and find some enemies of the Antigonids for us to deal with. Now, are we recruiting anything else in Pergamon right now? Probably not. So, let's go for another army. And uh, let's go with the Agira Speedettes. Sardis. What can we recruit at Sardis that's worth it? Not a huge amount. Uh, apart from the Neocretans. It needs to get to a huge city before it becomes... Really worth it. Now, let's hope that we can actually build everywhere now we've spent a lot of our money. So, Seleucia, 
There's not really much we can build here that's that useful. Uh, I mean, let's keep building, though. We might as well get the execution square just for thematic uh, <laughs> reasons. Uh, Damascus. This is also great because we can actually do this now and not have to worry too much. Uh, so, yeah, still loads of corruption in Damascus. So, yeah, let's get the shrine to here. Uh, rid of that. Antiochia Migdonia. Again, it's under siege. Let's get the stables, though, for that corruption reduction. Arbella. Let's go for the academy. We've got a guy there, so we might as well. Dura Eparos. Let's go for... Go for that extra wall, maybe? I mean, we've got a guy in there, so let's get the um, get the academy where we can. Susa, again. Susa's very close to the capital. It is Greek already, so not really too much to worry about there. Let's get the practice range for that extra law. Ephesus got the crop rotation. Ephesus makes 4,000. That's quite good, so let's get the market. Sardis made mines. Let's definitely get the... Oh, no, let's get the Megas Hippodromos. I know it's very expensive, but that'll allow us to retrain elephants and everything there as well. Sagalassos. Let's go for the stables for that law. Europos Ragai. Let's also do the stables law trick. Zadrakata. Now making 3,900. Honestly, quite good. So let's go for that secret police HQ. Reduce that corruption. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Definitely, we want the shrine to Hera there. So let's get that. Stakra got the crop rotation. Let's go for the mark. Oh, we're up, uh, already building a stakra. Alexandria Prosphasia. This is so much easier than the scrolling. Uh, Alexandria Prosphasia. You're kind of pointless. Let's get the stables though. Uh, you're already building. Nico Media. Let's go for that inland trade center probably. No, seven turns, not worth it. Let's go for the stables. <laughs> the stables, giving us lore everywhere. <laughs> uh, then an Adramition, probably the same trick. <laughs> Dockyard in Alexandria, Troas, making quite a decent chunk of change to some of these settlements now, which is good. Uh, Ladokia Lycos. Look at the trade flowing through the center here. We have opened up roads of trade everywhere. Do not call us oppressors and conquerors. We are liberators, of course. <laughs> Colonni. Let's go for the secret police HQ. Nicophorion. Apamea Siticane. Let's go for the scriptorium there. Artemida. Let's go with the merchant's quarter. It's quite expensive, but it's alright. Arhapa. Let's definitely go for the academy there. Asur. Probably the same thing. Let's go for the scriptorium. Chiropolis Caducia, probably time for the stables trick. Antiochia Medias, let's go with the not very rich settlement, are you? Right next to Egbatana, let's go for the market. Aganzana, let's go for that crop rotation. Um, Amadia, let's go for the public bath, so that population growth. Passa, yeah, we just need some of these places to get a bit more, uh, to get a bit bigger. To start making actual good money. Like, Chalcodon is just trash right now. Isora is already upgrading good. My Lisa, let's go for the market. Myos Hormos. Let's go for that execution square. We don't even have that there yet. Samaria. Let's go for the crop rotation because it's got no population growth right now. Uh, then Kaunos. Let's also do the same but with the public baths. To Mesos, let's go for those paved roads. Where we can, we'll try and get those paved roads in as well. Because they're very good. Gaza, definitely want that uh, bit of extra growth. Uh, let's go for the dockyard here at Arsinokilikia. We are starting to run out a bit of money, so slightly worried. Let's get the academy, because we've got a guy in there. Pelusion, same. We've got another guy in there. But I think something cheaper, maybe. Like the Temple of Hera. Paphos. We got the... Yeah, let's go. Let's go for the Stables trick. Nice and cheap and brings a lot of money. Same thing over here. Naxos. Let's go. Same thing. <laughs> it is a bit of a trick, but it... it you know, it does work, guys. So <laughs> I do feel a little bit cheap doing it. 
Petra, though, definitely worth getting those paved roads, I think. It's got a spice road, so, yeah, paved road's going to help it immeasurably. Same with the stables in Ptolemais. Hermayu. Uh, Thebes. Thebe Thebes. Let's go for the stables. Mothis got the wooden wall stables. <laughs> Parnassos are right here in the middle. Let's go. Uh, nothing here that's that useful, apart from maybe the Colony 1 Greek. So let's try that. They might get a bit upset, but that's fine. Uh, then over here, we got the Colony 1 Greek. Pacorus. It was rioting for so long, so I don't honestly know how it didn't flip. Well, let's go Colony 2 Greek, then. Uh, Ariathon. I know this takes a while, guys, but we do have 190 settlements now. <laughs> let's go for the stables trick. Uh, let's go for Andragorion. Let's also go for the stables trick. Uh, Nisa. Let's go for the practice trick. Do comment down below, guys, as well, who you think should get their settlements named after, after them, because we've got... And Dragorion over here, Ariathon, and we've got Antiochia Oikodomon, or Antiochus the Builder. Uh, but we've also got... Uh, we should also probably consider Andragoras the Handsome, but we do have Andragorion. Maybe Aristarchon? That's probably one good one. Aesis hasn't done enough battles to really get his own one. We could do Antiochia Thomomenos, which is... The, I believe, Antiochus the Angry, um, if I'm not mistaken. We've also got you. We've got Ermayas, of course, as well. I don't think he's been that successful. We're just destroying everyone now. They don't really get any traits. Um, and we've got Alketas over here. Uh, Diodotus. I don't believe they've actually had any too many battles. Um, but yeah, and then up in the north, of course... Of course, we've got a uh, Adimanthos and Eumenes. I think we go for Eumenion. That's definitely because Eumenes, he had a lot of things happen to him that were very bad. And, you know, he has come through it uh, and been successful even after all the death and destruction to those he loved. So we're definitely going to go Eumenes. So let's do that now. Let's get rid of Gortina and call it Eumenion. Eumenion? You many on. They're all called something on. Uh, so, you many on. There we are. Another hero to worship, boys, as well. Good. Uh, so, Nisa, did we build? Yes, we did. Gortina or you many on, should we say? Let's get the paved roads there. Kauris. Don't have any governor in here. Should get some governors up in Bactria now because it's just so rich. Get that shrine to Taiki. Polyrenia, got the trader. Let's go for the sewers. Ptolemaeus Theron, let's go with the stables, definitely. Uh, yeah, you're the one in the middle, so not really any point of view. Um, Anisiopolis. Yeah, this. Yeah, paved roads is probably the option. Sewers as well, though, is a good option. Let's go with sewers. Amisos. Now let's get the, uh, uh, yeah, probably a ship right here. Need some happiness, though, so let's go sewers, because that's population growth and happiness. Pimo Lisa definitely needs happiness, so let's go for that shrine to have Feistus. Pecorus, again, not too bothered about you. Uh, Beren Berenike Dieris, yes, we built there. Good. Right, well, I think, honestly, we are... we're there. We're doing well. So, what were the battles we wanted to do? We wanted to fight Sparta, didn't we? With Diodotus' army. What is in this army? That's even worse than the last army we fought. So, let's have a go, because I think we are hard enough, guys. They've got some Spartan cavalry in this one. Um, but yeah, 100% think we're hard enough. What I would try and do... Because our skirmishers, our archers are so much better than theirs. Let's try and force them into coming off whatever hill I assume they'll have. And, uh, yeah, force them down the hill. But anyway, you guys, I will see you in the battlefield. A battle is never an issue.
Here we are, and it's very tree-y. <laughs> Let's wait. I don't want it so foggy. No, we don't want it rainy either. <laughs> Not quite. Let's begin gamble on the last one. Oh, ho. Oh, pouring rain. No, I'm sorry, guys. I want it to be nice and clear. It is winter, though, I think. So, it's going to be hard to see, although they're not the thickest trees we've ever seen. So, we're going to try and force them off the uh, off wherever they are. Get the gear of speed is in behind. Get our monstrous cavalry detachment out the back. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. They brought those guys. They've actually come in behind us. So good job we came up around the side. Let's get them there. I mean, we could probably just like, charge through the middle of them, honestly. But uh, I'm not too bothered about that. I'm fine taking it nice and slow. Let's speed it up. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I say that, let's speed it up. <laughs> Wait, do they actually have cavalry? No, it's all just infantry again. I mean, they've kind of let us get above them, which is never a good decision for your enemy. I'll let them get above you. And I think we go around the left-hand flank with the Agira Speedes. Cavalry can just be hovering behind, like I say. Don't really want... They're running away. Okay, now they, now they start to... Uh, Start to move. Uh, archers. Let's maybe get you back. Say no. Let's keep you like here. Let's keep you here. It's fine. We're going to be in position very soon. So now they're starting to fire. Good. And this time I kind of want to enforce my hop, uh, my Agira speeders on them once they're in once they're in position, but. They're not going to be in position very soon. I do want to kill that other army, of course, so that we can take the settlement. Right, they're going for the charge, so let's get back here. Come on, guys. Get in position. You're taking a while, pikemen. I know you have big pikes, but yeah, we need to get in position. And then we've got our, all our cavalry out the back. Hard to see. <laughs> Right, start coming down the hill, and then the Agira Speedes, they're all kind of bunching up, so let's try and squish them in. I know you're going to get a bit tired, men, but it's fine. They're already running. Let's go then. There we are, fight them. Fight the Skiritai. You guys fight the Skiritai too. And we should be able to surround them quite easily with our infantry. And then we'll, of course, get the old cavalry in the fight. Right, cavalry. Let's get you around here. Let's try and get you around the right-hand flank. Don't think it'll be a problem. Fight the homoyoi. Actually, you know what? Get these boys through the middle. I think we can just have a go at those boys. We've been a bit surrounded here. Get in there. You guys get in. You guys get in. Hopefully to stop them surrounding us. Cataphracts out now. Cataphracts out. We're taking... like The Agira Speeders pikemen have just not been that good. Really not that been, been very good. For such an elite pike unit, I'm very, very uh, not impressed by uh, what, they've, what they've done, really. It's a bit of chaos because I can't really see what's going on. The Agira Speeders are now getting in, which is good. Get in the charge there. You guys fight the General's Bodyguard, in fact, would be good. Charge them. There's a Cataphrax. Let's go. Where are we in terms of... So we've got the, these boys fighting them. Right, let's get out. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, these guys... I can't see where anything is. This is the problem right now. Okay. What are you, homoyoi? We should have a good charge on you. 
So even though you're quite a good unit, you shouldn't be too healthy after this charge. I mean, actually not that good. Not that good a charge. Okay, the elephants have gone mad. That's not ideal. Good thing with that is, though, they will start fighting ours as well. Like, fighting theirs, sorry, as well. Right, guys, get out. So we're not going to melt these guys as much. It's too much chaos to even see what's going on right now. <laughs> we need to kill that general. So, let's get there. Chariots. Let's go into them, if we can. Where's the cataphracts? Let's go. Let's charge the homoyoi again. It's not really doing much damage, is it? It's a rubbish charge. Let's right, come through. Okay, this looks a lot closer than the last one where we melted them, but we have a really, really, really bad setup this time. It's been kind of brutal for us. Fight them. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Cataphrax. Let's get right in the back of these boys. See, these are gear of speeders. They're just, they're not, they're just not, yeah. I know, I know I'm not using them right. Like, I'm not using them great. But, I mean, this general's bodyguard is starting to die as well, which is good. So, yeah, we really do need. So, the Perioikoi Hoplites are actually really good. They, they won't, they don't break very easily. These guys do, on the other hand. So, let's get them. And, uh... Yeah, we can go into the Homoyoi as well if we want. You guys get there. Get the Agira Speeders. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth the Agira Speeders anymore. Like, they're really good in defense, of course, because they're Phalangites. But, yeah, the Agira Speeders, the Reform Swordsmen are just better in general. Let's see if we can kill this general. He's there. He's right there. He's right there. Come on, Cataphrax. <gasps> no, Diodotus! Where's Di Diodotus? Get out of there! I left you behind, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get you uh, in some cover somewhere. Oh, I thought Diodotus was dead then. <laughs> oh, my dad. Get get up there, Diodotus. Right, Cataphracts. Right, Cataphracts. Let's go. What have we got here? Let's come down here. Kill them. Got our chariots. I just so... Like, I've screwed this battle up so badly because I just can't see what's going on. See, like, look at the Agira Speeders, like, versus the Reform Swordsman Agira Speeders. So much better. Uh, right, you guys into the Spartan Homoyoi. You guys get down there. Right, Cataphrax. Let's go. That was a close call with Big Diodotus, I'm not going to lie. Very close call. I think this army is running away. Yeah, unfortunately he is. Even though we didn't do that good a job beating this army, we still beat them, haven't we? Uh, and I think we'll just take the end of the battle when it comes. There's not much else we can really do. Oh, what a what a messy... So after the, the brutal bloodbath that we, uh, that we did... Oh, we don't want to go near our elephants right now. What's this over here? Ah, they've got some Cryptia up here as well. They're withdrawing. What's this over here? Well, let's end the battle there, guys. That was... I mean, 242. It feels so... Like, they killed so many more. I don't know why. Maybe because they had just deployed so many more. But maybe just because of last battle was so brutal. And the elephants went mad. Uh, not the best battle. Hard to see, to be honest. But back onto the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And a great victory. They did manage to retreat quite a bit. But uh, look at the Antigonids. There they are. We're not currently at war with the Antigonids. But that's a fat army as well. Um, like I say, we need to get this recruitment hub done as quick as possible. It is Greek already, guys. So remember that. Because it's native culture Greek, we'll be able to recruit from it straight away, uh, which is great. Uh, we don't need to build our own colony building, as you can see. Uh, they got the Pantheon of Hera in here as well, which is good. Um, don't have the Hippodrome yet, but I don't know about this settlement. It might do. 
Uh, so if it does, we'll be good. But Diodotus got good commander. Fantastic. Got an extra couple of command with his single man. Somehow survived. I'm surprised he didn't get scarred or anything then. But that was almost a disaster battle, to be honest. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, and he's also got confident attacker now as well from that battle, which is great. Captured flag two. Looks like Sparta's in here. So Sparta in here. Yeah, Messenia. Uh, but yeah, Antigonids are starting to dominate, I guess, in Greece. Really pushing on. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. It is the Antigonids after all. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching. Some Spartan bloodbaths. Some good fun. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed those battles and this episode. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.